Okay, welcome back to episode 10. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. Good. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Well, that was quite funny. Hopefully we'll have some ah, back later. well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. Mm. Bit of a risk. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. <laughs> oh, boy. For your sake. I hope it's the former. Me too. My lady. We will soon find out. Still, got to take some risks here and there. And we're back in uh, Essos. With Uncle Forrester and... Hey, John! Hey. I forgot his name, Asher, Asher Forrester, the brother, the elder brother. I like this um, story. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then? Covered in blood. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts and a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. 
I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. <laughs> He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Uh-oh. Fonte Renas! You guy who knew Josie but Dagon Costotti Daor. them. I should have just killed that guy. Let's go. You're quick, I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsay Snow and cave his bloody head in. Yeah. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Guess we'll find out. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. So there's kind of two conflicting views between Bishka and the uncle. She's reckless and he's trying to be more careful. Back to Mira already? Mira. Hello? Yeah, there's a note for me. Everything's still here. So someone's been in my room. And at first I thought this was Marjorie's room, but it's just mine. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Hmm. Was someone going through my book?
does the note say? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Someone wants to meet us in the gardens at midnight. That's here again. Back in Iron There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage. You are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... How would you know that? I just meant that since there's no obvious damage that... Enough, Maester. <laughs> when last we okay. spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. But I don't know what the man she knew was I like. don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Guess I'll just try and be honest and stuff. Seems to usually work out the best. Roderick? Look at her, Roderick. You look... You're really... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humour. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. Ooh, little hand touching there. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They yeah. said some terrible things. Mm. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to assure our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, Cold feet. My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. And Cold I was inclined father. to agree with him until I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests in the kindest of terms that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Do you know why Lady Marjorie would send this to me? Uh... She and I have never corresponded. Mira must have asked her to intervene. I didn't know your sister carried such influence. 
You act as if you had no part in this. I well, feel manipulated, Roderick. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. And being forced to marry you, Roderick, is that truly what you want? Would you do that to me? After everything we've shared? Of course not, Elena. You're free to choose. <sighs> Thank you. I was afraid you'd refuse to back down, but you must care about me more than that. Let us stand together, Roderick. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. I convinced her. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, the rumours are true. Yes. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Ryan attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Ryan belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Heronhall. But now I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud. Enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? So, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral... Sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Ah, oh. kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Really? No, you're not. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. You can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way... My men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? We'll see. We'll see. He's going to make things difficult for both of us, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I'm glad you didn't let him humiliate you. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. No, no. My Lord, are you well?
This fight isn't over. Not even close. Well, we managed to convince Elena to marry us, and I'm pretty sure that, you know, that's something you could fail at. I think it's really good that we actually convinced her. Um, so yeah, that's good news, and hopefully it'll help us out. We're back to the wall now. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. Um, he doesn't know. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? We fought as best we could. But it wasn't enough. The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you, but men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the nice watch. The torches are all out. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Right, I think that's a really good time to end the episode. Um, so thank you for watching, and when we get back, we will continue on. Um, 